Welcome to the May 2022 Raptor update. We have two new features to introduce this month. One is user profile. The second is term totals. So let's look at user profile. Inside Raptor, if you click on your username in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a link called profile. If you click on that, you're gonna see some settings that you can set for your, for your own user. As the page says, settings on, on this page will affect only your user, not any other Raptor users. Let's look at what the options are on this page. The options on this page are intended to give you, as a Raptor user, greater control over the results that you're getting inside Raptor. You can have Raptor to ignore certain values, you can set preferences for title and other fields. Let's look at what these controls do. First is data to be ignored. List the values you want Raptor to ignore when it reads a transcript. If it finds the value, it's gonna ignore the row. So for example, let's say you want to ignore all courses on the transcript containing the grade W. When Raptor reads the transcript, any courses that have a grade of W will not be pulled into the grid. Let's take a look at how that works. Just for testing purposes, I'm gonna add the grade A to be ignored. Anything that we ignore, you'll see in this grid here to remind you what we're ignoring. Let's go ahead and save these choices. And then let's go back to Raptor and see what that does. And so you can see that any courses on the transcript with the grade of A are not showing up in my grid because of my setting on that, on that profile. Let's look at the other settings on the profile. Data to be ignored. If I want to stop ignoring certain data, I can just hit this trash can here and it will remove it from the row. I can ignore other things too, such as if there's certain unit values I wanna ignore, say I wanna ignore anything with the units of 0, 0.00, right? You can, I can ignore certain term categories. Let's say anything with a winter term, I want to ignore uh, fields like this. So you can, you can ignore anything by subject, catalog, title, right? So you get the idea with the ignoring um, settings. Preferences. Always start with Raptor default logic. So if I have this setting turned on, every time I load a transcript into Raptor, it's gonna start with the Raptor default logic. Let's go ahead and save that and I'll explain what I'm talking about there. If we go back to Raptor, what we're talking about here is when I load my transcript, always this setting here is gonna stay on Raptor default logic as opposed to any other template that Raptor might try to uh, set when it, when it comes into the page. The advantage here is that uh, in some cases, if you if Raptor is loading the default template for a school, you might not always get the best results with that. So you might sometimes prefer to just have the Raptor default logic be used. Let's look at pro other elements on the profile. Title preferences. You may always prefer that the title be uppercase according to your business functions. You might always prefer a mixed case title. So let's go ahead and set, for example, the title to always be uppercase. And then the term default is some term that if Raptor cannot find a term, instead of having a blank term, Raptor can just default to a certain value for the term. All right, let's look how that uppercase title works. If I save this, go back to Raptor. Let's go ahead and process my Right, so you can see that the titles are all uppercase because that was my profile setting. So again, these are just, um, the, the profile choices are just meant to help you to get the most out of Raptor and save you keystrokes and editing that you might be doing. Please let us know of other settings you would like us to add onto the profile uh, as we constantly want to improve Raptor to, to suit your functions and make make the work easy as easy as possible for you. 
Let's look at term totals. Let's go back to Raptor. Here you see below the grid, we have accumulated, Raptor is automatically accumulating the total units by term, right? So here's fall 2007 with a total of 15.5 units, right? Here's the spring of 2008 with a total of 25.5 units and 2000, fall of 2008 with 15 units. You, you'll see these, these totals dynamically change. Let's say I change this from 12 to three. You'll see that real time will adjust, right? So you can see these totals adjust real time as I, as I <clears throat> adjust the data in the grid. So this is a, um, just a quality assurance uh, feature down below the grid. Um, as you're examining the transcript results and trying to just determine, you know, do I have all the data that I want and expect from this transcript, um, you might find that the units helps you to validate that the data is what you would expect coming off the transcript because uh, you can see in this case, for example, I could see on the transcript, I should have 15.5 units for the, for the fall of 2007, which matches my total here. So that's, it's just an additional quality assurance feature. This data is not pushed into PeopleSoft or into your student system. It's just exists here as temporary data to help you validate. Okay, that's an introduction to our May 22 new features. Please uh, let us know any questions or issues you may have. Um, you can always contact us using the chat in the bottom corner of Raptor. And please uh, keep in touch and let us know new features we can keep adding.